pour the salad, you're gonna need a knife, you're gonna need salad tongs, and measuring spoon, probably a measuring cup. This is what I'm going to drain the kale in. Then you need a nice big salad bowl. Cabbage, this is Napa cabbage, a raw beet, an apple, and two kinds of kale, because whichever one you got, I want to show you how to work with it. This is the curly kale, which um, is readily available. And then this is lacinato or dinosaur kale. I like this better, but a lot of times I can't find it. So I want to show you how to use this one. Uh, this one is actually somewhat easier to grow. So if you're growing, you might want to just, you know, chow down on that one. But here we go. You are so beautiful. You are beautiful too. You're just different. You're both beautiful, but you're different. Hi everybody. Okay, so here we are with our kale. Now I just rinsed this kale. For the lacinato kale, I'm going to chop that. Um, you can break it up with your hands, but I find that just chopping it really fast is great. Okay, it works really, really well. You don't want to take out the vein in this. Just as you get to the bottom of the stem, chop it kind of small. All right, that part's done. You want to pull these off and put them into your bowl. And when you get them in your bowl, just like any other lettuce, you don't want some big honking thing that fits your entire face, okay? You're going to get this and you're going to break it up into smaller little pieces. You see how easy this comes off of the vein, the main vein? It's really pretty simple. I'm going to finish the rest of this. And I'm also going to break it up into small bite-sized pieces. All right, so here are my greens. And now I'm just pouring the juice from that lemon on top. Now this is what you need to do. You're going to massage this kale. Oh, yeah, let me get that knot out. Oh. Yeah, you feel so tense. Just relax. Just relax. You're just massaging, and you're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Now, what happens is that the lemon and your manual dexterity here break down part of this. And then we're going to make the dressing. So this is going to have some time to break down. The lacinato, or the dinosaur kale, this will break down a lot faster than the curly kale will. And I, if I have to use curly kale, I'm actually really kind of squeezing the curly kale here. Some people use salt, some people use vinegar. I really like using lemon, and then I don't add lemon to the dressing. All right, darlings, I am just finishing up cutting this apple. And this apple, just in case you want to know, is a stamen, or otherwise known as a wine sap apple. And that part is done and now I'm going to put on gloves so that I can grate in the fresh raw beet. Okay so I have peeled my beet and now I'm just going to grate it in. The idea for this came at the last farmers market that I did um, because there wasn't anything that the farmers had told me available to make into a salad except for the kale and apples and beets. But actually this worked out so well. Alright, now I'm going to cut my cabbage, which you just want to cut it into small pieces. And I'm cutting it in very thin slices. And then I'm going to cut it across. Notice my fingers are not sticking out, so I'm not going to chop them off. Now I turn it, and now I turned it, and now I'm just cutting across. And it's just creating small, bite-sized pieces. Here's my dressing. It's so pretty. It's nice and pink. It's kind of like a dark pink. And I'm going to put four tablespoons on this whole salad. Now I ended up using an extra quarter cup of water to thin it, uh, but that water doesn't necessarily have to be uh, hot water. That can be any type of liquid actually that you wanted to put in it. And now I'm going to toss the salad and I'm going to toss it for a full minute. So you guys are going to have to come back. Mmm. If you're
you're a big dressing person, you can put more dressing on, but I'm not a big dressing person. So, but this is really yummy. Mmm. The lemon is really bright, um, but the beets really kind of temper mm, that out, and so does the apple. Now, if you're making a small salad, just put in a teaspoon of lemon juice or lime juice. You just want a little acid. That's going to break things down. And actually, I'm going to be serving this salad in about four or five hours, and everything's going to be nicely wilted, but not ridiculously wilted, and it's going to have a really great flavor. Mm, this is really good. And that dressing, oh my god, sweet, but still has this back tartness from the cranberries. Excellent. Mm.